Okay, so going gold refers to a stage of a game project's release cycle. Specifically, it's the stage that gets released to manufacturers, but that's actually getting a little ahead of myself. I'm actually going to go over all the phases of release. First, you have pre-alpha. This is basically before anything's really designed. You're putting together ideas, you're developing individual assets, you're coding, you know, different systems, stuff like that. At this point, the game is just different pieces of code that are eventually going to be stuck together. After pre-alpha, you get the alpha release. This is the first point in the game's development that you can test it, that you can play it. Alpha versions of games are playable, but usually look nothing like the final version. There's still a lot of stuff to hammer out. After the alpha, there's betas. You've probably played in betas before. Betas are basically versions of the game that do play a lot like the end version, but still need additions and tweaks. There's also probably a lot of bugs still left over. After the beta, there's the feature complete beta. A feature complete build basically has all of the features that the final version of the game is going to have. It basically means no more dev work is going to be done, now you just need to polish and finish the game. After the feature complete build, you have the release candidate build. This is known as Going Silver. This is basically a feature complete build that is stable enough that it has the possibility of being a final release. At this point, everything has been designed, and basically the only thing that's left to do is test, test, test. After you go silver, then you get to stable silver. A stable release build is a build that, for all intents and purposes, can be played all the way through and have next to no or minimal bugs. It has no major problems, and all other bugs are minor and acceptable. After you have your stable build, then you can go gold. Going gold is when you have a master build of the game that you're going to release to manufacture. This is what's going to be put on discs or cartridges, and this is what's going to be able to be available for download from digital stores. So when you go gold, you have basically sent your game out to the people who are going to sell it for you. But it still takes time from going gold to actually being able to buy a game. There's extra testing for the platforms it's going to be sold on. There's manufacturing of actual discs. And this time frame can take literally months. Which, like I said in my previous video, the design team just does nothing for unless you have them work on a day one patch. Or DLC. Once all the manufacturers and distributors do what they need to do, then it becomes a GA, or generally available build. This is the build that people will be buying when they buy the game from the store. This is called going live. So you go silver, you go gold, and then you go live. Then over the course of the game's life cycle, you have feature current builds, which is the game with all the update patches and DLC included. And when product support stops, then you reach the end of life build. And that's the final build of the game that we will ever see.